Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from all of the LPL spring matchups of the day. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Brand is uh, a powerful force. Trade down pretty heavily. This is exactly what we are talking about. This is the different lane priorities. Shall shoot. Trading well here. This is going to look very different as soon as the next empowered Q is up. Is he oh, going to survive oh, through to oh. it? There it is. The Q heal. Nice slice and dice. He's going to go for the W. Flashes. Oh, he, he. he gets it. One more Q with the knockback. Here's Nayo, though. He wants to flash, get the kill here. He's going to knock oh, the w. w. The burn, the auto attack. It's enough for first blood for RA. Oh, and Wei Wei can't hit the knockup either. Especially later on. But you see LNG are just going to go ahead and start up the dragon. Again, level 6 is hit. He's got the Dominus for ult. Zika is going to be in a little bit of a slice and dice situation here. He's getting low. Nios coming up to claim another kill. And you were talking about fried crocs. Well, we're about to get a little bit more of that. And RA are eating good tonight. Another kill goes to Nio. Oh, man. Nio getting really fed off this top side. And that is a problem. What it really managed to get much out of it. They managed to get that control and they managed to get some vision, but not much beyond that. Ults again in top side. No Dominus yeah, this time. Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to say. He doesn't have Dominus. He's getting a little bit low and there's a solo bolo for Xiaoxu and a third death for Zika. Get moving towards this bot side again. There is an opening for Weiwei to steal away a couple of camps or look for a dive. Dive would be quite dangerous. I really feel like it's just better to start hoovering through these camps as this bell bath. Might have lost yeah. the opportunity though. I'm curious at the lack of priority around the uh, Grubby Tubbies, but we'll see a dive anyways, so they'll just take down Chelsea under turret and make it out alive with a giant minion crash down there. Uh, Chelsea not able to um, get himself out with a flash or use the CC to lock down for a kill, so it is a pretty good play that Gala oh, just gonna oh, run down oh, soon. Gala just under turret outplays him! Oh my god, Gala! Uh, he might have overstayed now though. Vickla, he has the jump, he has the flash. Gallop, what does he do here? Does he execute what happens here? <laughs> Xiaoxi should not take it. this. You should have yep. given the kill over to Assume. I don't think that would have been execute. I think maybe he was worried that the time would go through. If they could have gotten that kill gold all the way around to Perfect synchronization. But it looks like they just want to try to contest this objective pickup here. Mega Death Rocket goes through, but the dragon secured by RA. Here comes an engage on the Xiaoxi who's about to take another death. He's going to not go down after the flash of the first. Oh, the bread damage. Through. The explosion there as well. And Assume picks up the kill. His first of the game. As a charm comes through, maybe baiting Scout in. Ah, damn, even though you feel like Shaoxi should have just been exploded. As LNG looked to take first turret on bot side, they did give a lot up for it, but they have like a 20 plus CS lead for Gala, and now first turret for him. 575 smackaroos right there as Hung. Uh, uh, plan. You're on the wrong side of town here. He's going to pop his escape plan, but he's going to explode as Nio gets the kill. Yeah, yeah, that blast plan was not particularly helpful in that. It doesn't have any mobility, and Xiaoshu being so big is so scary. You look at that damage comparatively, like and you this? just can't do anything. Look at that! He's going to all out him! Luckily, Hung is right there to try to save the day, as Zik is going to pop dominance after the TP is in. Scout's still there to fight, but Xiaoshu's taking a 1v2, and he's a monster! He finally goes down! LNG strike on the other side, too, but here comes Vic Love to try to make a difference. The flash Ooh. play flashed out of, and here comes Vic Love! Big Vic Love under turret! He's going to rocket jump his way to safety! Unfortunately, Assume will go down to the death screen, and it is chaos, Nymera! Yeah, you might think that the rift is green because of the chemtech. I think it might be turning red after that fight. Assume still has flash. He will not burn in the end. Death charge come through. Mega death rock. A couple ultis from LNG, but they get a lot of utility out of that because they can also take the mid outer turret. Now Scout. Gull is excited and the engage is coming through from LNG and it's about to get real exciting if you're a chillin' as they try to single down Shoutshoot, but he already gets the carry from Gala. They do end up taking him down and Weiwei will get his reset. So he becomes a big Belveth and LNG lose their carry. One uh, more than fine at this point. Where's Scout right now? He has teleport. The fight's happening. Where are the teleports coming? Here it is. There it is. He's right in the middle of the fight. If Hung can survive, that's really big. Assume's going to go over with Vickla. the lightning crash. Gala's in a lot of trouble now. Vikla going over for him under tower here. And Gala's already gone. But you got to look at Scout. He's the damage dealer now. Shoot's getting low. He's going to all out his way out of that one. Scout gets oh, locked down. He's going to go golden with the Seekers. And now Weiwei's going to town with his resets. But it's not enough. It's the double marksman composition coming alive for RA. And they're going to smack down LNG.
The first pick comes from Rare Atom, not from LNG, and the cleanup comes soon after. Dragon and Soul Point will go to the side of Rare Atom. Mid lane out of Tower will go to the side of Rare Atom. And reminder, folks, Rare Atom have already taken a couple of games off of some pretty big teams recently, particularly that scout, even though he had the stop watch up, he just didn't expect that one to hit. You know, just to thread the needle all the same. What can you do on this Nordly? He might have just be caught out. Shame on him. <laughs> <laughs> or are they the ones caught out? No, it's, I think it's him. I think, I think it's definitely him. I think you cast or cursed him. But here comes Vikla to maybe get a little redemption arc for you. Shaoshu's coming in with the pincer maneuver on the other side as well. Charm does connect. He won't be able to follow it up any further. Had a chat about how LNG had they got the three out of turrets first, and that gave the map control all right. They slap back with that one fight, and they start off the Baron. The health bars just really aren't there, and it's not the Baron that RA won. It's the fight they want. Shaoshu's going to go straight in on Nugala. He's fighting him too. Slice and dice his way. No, he does in the end. The triple knockback as well. And literally everyone but Scout is gone from LNG. And that's a big purple worm awaiting its master. Rare have just won that fight with Assume just killing the jungler. They didn't even need their bot lane AD carry to clean up the rest of the fight because they had another AD carry in Vikla doing the damage. Rare Adam Good first kill to allow Jinx resets. Maybe that can work out for them. Shao Shu now caught 5v1. Shao Shu. Can he outplay them all? This is the entire fight of LNG being put his way and he does end up going down giving a reset to Weiwei and getting Gala a little bit excited. Chelsea, Scout goes golden though, fearing the engage from RA. Okay, so what's going to happen here? This would be Soul for Rare Atom, but they don't have their front line. 35 seconds until Shaoshu's back up. The 5v4, Weiwei's feeling a little bit spooky. Hung goes in, just completely obliterated off the bat. As now that AoE started to come into effect here, and Vikla wants to step forward. He flashes away. Double marksmen are going to cut down. Reset. And Assume has assumed the position of Carry Mantra. As he's going to get flashed on by Gala. He goes down. Gala's really excited, but Vikla's about to go in. No. Nayo, you've got to do it. Oh, it's going to oh. be a <laughs> trade. Five for five. Everyone's down. <laughs> No one lives to tell the tale! Only no flash for assume and Vickler either. They're gonna go straight in. Charm connects on Shaoxi. Shaoxi's already going down. They need the resets. Gaul is excited now. Wei Wei can't hit it. He goes down. Now two members are gone. And Vickler wants to step forward, but maybe he stepped too far. Gala is getting real excited. He's got shots on Assume. It's gonna go down all day long. As two kills go over to him, it's still Nio and Shaoxi up. They will focus the dragon, and a soul goes over to RA. Oh, Gala really wants to make another music video for this champion. Get Jinx! Quadra kill, double kill, late game Jinx on the board. It will be Chemtech Soul for you to not also be able to survive that play. So we've split sides of the map. LNG, they push up mid lane, which will give them an easier entrance into river, but they're still doing a blind. Once again, look and see. They burn it so fast. It's going so fast. I mean, this is what happens with the double marksman here. Scout's just going to go straight in. He's going to burn down to a crisp with the explosive. Now it's Nayo that already claims the bear. Things are falling apart for LNG here. Hung's going to try to get a re-engage in, but the rest of RA are streaming. Four flashes are coming out, and deaths are coming through. LNG, they are gone off the face of this summoner's rift. Oh, rare atom, they burn bright like magnesium. And this atom has well and true jump. Gala could not position for the fight this time. And the multiple carries of Rare Atom storm towards the base. They are on the cusp and they are going to do it. That's a golden scout that's about to just be a golden statue now. As he goes down, RA strike first and strike hard in our first game of the final day of the regular season. Where has this Rare Atom been the entire split? Where we get a little bit of a more new age comp from RA here, where we have the rumble that was locked in for Shaoshu, and it looks like the Volley Bear jungle with the Rel support. So that crocodiles don't like uh, flamethrowers. Big set and, on fire. Uh, yep. <laughs> you know, I think we're finding that out. Although a hungry bear is gonna strike in mid lane again, you can't let the trash be out because Nio will take it. You know, I'm not gonna find the kill, and Vikla actually has to be a little bit more careful there, as LNG are feeling the burn. Yeah, and Scout, he has done his absolute best to not die in this mid lane. And he has succeeded at that. But God, he's not getting much value for his money in this chase. 
very early on. Um, I think uh, one of the big things which I had questions about coming into uh, that's an ult trying to catch up Piccolo. Oh, this could oh, be good damage oh, here. He might just kill him. Wait, wait, Bramble smash to victory. First kill for him. But you have used it over your head to protect yourself from the rain. He did a bonk someone over the head as well as R8. Go down towards uh, the bot side of the map to see if they can do some bludgeoning themselves. But Weiwei is here. He doesn't have ult for the next few seconds. Scout's on his now. Ooh. Oh, he misses the engage. That's actually so big. Now R8 takes full advantage of it. Nayo, he's going to flash out of the hammer. And the re-engage from Shouse, he's big. Now Victor is running rampant on the back line. And Assume, he's going to rend his way to two kills. Here comes Zika, though. Can he make the difference? He's going to find one. R.A. is starting to walk away as Zika finds two. Can he get a third? Woo! There he is. But Viklo will stand tall and pick up everybody. It's happened again, Mazel! Everyone dies! Everyone but Shaoshu who sat there going like, what's going down on down there, folks? At all, folks, ever, actually, <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, things you've learned from the LPL stream. Grab the wheel of the car you're a passenger in. Shaoshu uh... trying to be the driver in this play, but he's teleported on. Ooh, Scout's in a lot of trouble, though. He's heated up and he's going down. Yeah. That's Scout out of the fight. And oh, right, Zucka. they are completely trouncing LNG's map movement as he's going to try a 1v3. Zika will be turned into some skin boots by RA. It's going to be Shao Shu. You know what's even more hilarious about that? Because Weibo on the team sat below them, Weibo will have gone from like 12th up to 6th in one week of play at LPL. Love they that. would be the beneficiaries of this play. Now you've got the Herald, six grubs coming in towards this lane as well. You oh can see that Scout is, they, Scout is pushing towards top lane. They're trying to avoid this. Ooh, Vikla can't get the charm engaged. Depth charge coming through. Now Fate's Call gonna be pulled, but they got the damage done to the turret, and now RA are out of there. Yeah, but Scout is still pushing top side. How much damage is he doing towards this? It's a full Ooh. inner turret. So, good extra value. What were we saying the gold lead was a little earlier? 4,000 into the bot side fight. But again, they are a composition that likes to come into a fight after RA are already there. Io off vision. He's called Ooh. Scout! Ooh. He does get him. Now, Scout playing very safe. Here comes the slam down as now the real focus is on the Chelsea. Scout's trying to get away over there. Chelsea's going to go down. It's a trade through, but RA, they're looking forward to taking the rest of the members of LNG. Three fall for just the one. And now RA can force the Baron, potentially? I think they can. They have double Leandris and they have a Callista. This Baron speed is going to be very, very fast. But this whole play started off by that man in the jungle that we were just talking about. Out. The ambush. Dragon fight again. This is soul for them. Here's the Rend. Being stacked up. They want to pull it away from LNG. What have they got to play with? No flash on Scout. They don't have the mark out just now, but I think that without the equalizer R8, they don't really want to pile into this. They're being very careful Ooh. because they don't have their summoners right now. Zika's looking on the other side. Now Shalsi's going down to the Chains of Corruption. Here it comes as Nature's Grass. RA realize they don't need to give their lives for it. And it'll be the dragon given over to LNG. Maybe they just take the lives of That's LNG instead. As Nio gets one kill, he stepped forward. Look at Vikla. He gets a big charm. Here comes the Equalizer on the way out. And that's a red carpet of death. As assume with the flank of the Callista. He's got insane, man. RA have completely trounced LNG. Where the hell did this AD carry learn that you better flank on this? We have ourselves that Sim HD flash going out to save Weiwei. But that'll just be a bit of a consolation prize. I, I appreciate our... I'm now kind of sad we won't see them until summer. This has been a great series from them. Games of Corruption coming out here. Nio, he is moving out of there. Uh, Chelsea's pretty low. Okay, some of that poke really started to hit here. Fate's call coming in. Zika has popped dominance. Is on a flank. RA need to find their way out of this one. As Nio is able to find an escape. Shaoshu just gets taken out to a shutdown. A scout on the other side. RA with an escape plan here out of the bot side of the map. I don't know if they can. LNG have the cutoff. Oh, they actually turn on the Hung. Okay, they get one. Vic Lee gonna flash out here. Nio trying to stop the rest of LNG moving forward. RA trying to get out. Re here we go. Out from Chelsea, and it's starting to get chaotic, but LNG love it. They'll take a couple heads and now move into a bit of a fighting position here. Oh, it's an overstay from Rare Atom. We're positioning, but the dragon coming up now. RA want to force a fight before it it's here. Fight. Now, Weiwei's going to pop the grass. Engage, they actually got him. But Zoom is down. The Magnet Storm is not going to do anything in LNG. They have woken up from their slumber. The chillin' was hungry, and it smells blood.
fantastic hook from Hong. It catches out Asum, who didn't have the flash. It comes up now. He wouldn't have had it for that fight. And LNG, two fights back to back. We'll make sure that RA are not going to cleanly walk away with this game. They're even in gold now. They're going to get themselves even an objective bounty beyond this. They have that because of the, um, the, the, the dragons being taken from Rare Adam. They're going to get themselves bot lane in a turret. Get themselves the dragon. Right from dragon to Baron and RA can't do anything here unless Nio can get a steal over the back wall. They will spot it out here. He can have an attempt. It would be a oh, big it's gonna be one. A flip. As he's not going to be able to. He's locked down. He can't even get in the pit. That is the Baron LG in a furthering up. You can see they've woken up from uh, what would be a deadly slumber in the first, I guess, game and a half. Oh, but Scout, now Scout flash. maybe gonna be put back into sleep as now he is completely out and that is everyone sending his way. 950 smackaroos to Nio. Okay, so just at the- Wanted to try to catch Scout while he was looking for angles through the pit, but now they don't really oh. have an angle. They will be spotted out. Vickla on the other side. The poke starting to hit on Shousi. Zika in the bush there waiting to go in. Dragon getting about Not half health. Shousey's going to give his ult there. Stormbringer coming in. Vickla's in the pit now. They try to get onto Gala, but they can't. And now RA's attempt has been rebuffed. LNG, they will find more. And they might even be able to clean house here. Shousey taken down. And now Shousey, the only remaining member, might be caught in some alcove gaming as a triple kill had come across for Scout. He might be looking for a quadra. Nice little flash, but there it is. Scout is an angry kitty. And they're going to flash in mid lane and try to take game two. She only needed to get one Nexus in this series to secure themselves a skip of that first round of playoffs and get towards the sixth seed. And they'll achieve that right here. Congrats. In this game as opposed to game one. Now the Belveth failed to clean up a couple of big plays. Lee Sin is much more mobile in the early game and has a lot more damage in the wave than uh, the Belveth. Uh, he had obviously a big clear going from bot to top, but uh, not able to put any pressure up there where RA Ooh. has. Oh, big catch out here as they will take down Chelsea. Oh, the anchor is going to be enough for first blood for LNG. The guy goes down and a greedy recall. Yeah, he's he just got six. See, RA were making a play bot side though. They collapsed four onto LNG. Gala gonna get some decent damage on Chelsea. Can't get out. No flash. And here comes Scout as well. Nice little knockback, but Chelsea will be carved up yet again for another dinner for LNG. Now Scout, Scout. looking for it. Has charm available. Will end up hitting Vikla here. We got a flash out of the ankle. We do have the episode two of Telegrubbies coming up, and Weiwei is gonna face check the bush there. Charm connects, Sonic Wave connects, Kick connects, everything connecting. Mega Death Rocket goes a little bit wide there, though. Maybe cast first it. Scout going in. Scout pulling oh. back. He's gonna go down to Nio. Burns him alive. It is once again playing on the knife's edge, and, and Scout. The series for LNG. There's still a lot of time to turn it around. We do have a dragon coming up in sub 30 seconds. Uh, Nios doesn't seem to pop side right now. Walking towards Weiwei. Q lands on him. The stun's oh, miss. Weiwei. in a lot of trouble, though. The hook comes through. The kick is there, and he's down. Gala's real excited. He's got a grin on his face, and now he's moving in. Scout's going to hit the charm, and that's fried up beef for you. LNG go out in the lead. Oh, Shousey falls again. He's also taking the bone plating, so he's going to jump in a bit more aggressively. He's got Panthers on the bot side of the map instead of Nio, but here comes Hung as well. He has Flash, but he's also playing. Yes, they Flash can! The Vikla, Death Charge with the Charm, all that CC, baby, and Scout picks it up. Vikla not able to buffer out of that one. Goes down easy as you like. Shousey now kept in River. He has Flash. He's probably going to be forced to blow that one as well. Wait, he's going to keep up the chase, but not for much longer. So, keeps hold of his Flash. After down the enemy jungler before the dragon spawns, so... Hung, I'll take it back. I thought he was going to just bail on the play on bot side. And now Vickler is left alone here too. He's probably going to die. Dangerous moment for him. That's really unfortunate. And that'll be multiple catch outs now of him. He does get brought down. They're trying to give it over. And Weiwei is the one that grabs it. Now RA with the counter play on the other side. That's going to be the TP coming in, though. Maybe they could get the play here. Shall see. He's down. Scout can clean this one up. Assume oh. is gone. That's going to be a double. And now Scout with all those spear rushes. He can move forward, but he doesn't know where Nio is. He doesn't want to go just blindly into Melaran to Shaoshu. He only has a little bit of duration on the Spirit Lush left, and it's actually just one up. He could be in a bit of danger here, but Herschel plans Q3, Q3 does too, though. Scout, don't get killed by the solo here. He gets the solo. Nayo here flashes out of the charm. Scout trying to make a major play here for LNG. 
as they do end up fighting him anyways. Nayo gets a big old amount of gold. That's a huge Shut shutdown. Down. It's a shutdown, but Scout takes a toll before he falls. Magic is getting an extra kill out of that. The return. Sorry, don't have a way of getting up there. They have to push out mid lane as well with Vikla. LNG looking for it. Nayo gonna spot everybody Ooh. out. Ooh, Lollipop not going no flash. Play. And now he's gonna go wide with there. He goes down as well. Nice little resets here though for Gala, who's getting a little excited as uh, maybe trying to get that reset for him is the biggest portion for LNG. Now, oh, Zika, he's in there. And there's that excited Gala. Scout's going for it, point blank. That's two kills. Oh, we're gonna find him a third. And that's huge as LNG wipe. RA and go straight for the Baron. Gala stacks up, get excited, and gets ripping through Rare Atom. Baron's gonna go down soon after, and LNG after a hard, the hard. Cusp of soon. It was 6,600 damage from Gala in the end, and now it's LNG with their Infernal yep. Soul gifted over to them. It's exactly what we were saying. RA, they have much less tools to get onto the, um, to the, not the Kaiser, the Jinx. The turrets and snowball that into a potential victory here. So LNG gonna walk forwards. Baron buff still hit, taking down the inhib. We'll just refresh that, get excited once again. There it is. He has the increased attack speed. Dude. These towers are not long for this rift. This is insane. As the rush from the six grubs helping them out a little bit, they will be rebuffed. Try to move down to the bot side. The Nexus turret's about half health there. He now just pounced straight onto Vikla. And RA, you gotta start singing your 07s and going down with the ship because LNG have roared to life in this series. They'll do a mini reverse sweep and they'll take down Chelsea for a little bit of beef to add on top of it. One more kill, two more kills. Gala's gonna buy three. LNG have found everybody. And they'll end the season in regular split at nine and seven and they are tough opponents to be going up against in the second round of the playoffs. They buy themselves a ticket away from the first round outside of that brawl between the 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th place teams in the first round of LPL playoffs. We'll be seeing them directly into the second round against one of the victors of that one. We'll see how the bracket forms after this too. We have one last series to see how that... Can't stop that. It's not a projector. Smolder can get burst down all the same. So, Rookie playing um, you know, half carry, half Roma, and also a little bit of that peel in terms of uh, putting that minefield down for the Smolder as. But NIP still able to strike first here, unless Tien yeah, gets in Q. there. Oh, he's not going to get it. Aki secures it. Now, Tien is going to get concussively blown there as he does go out of that one. Dragon goes to NIP. Six is traded on top side as well. Dominus and World end up put out just to get themselves some HP trades in lane. Cream ooh, flashes ooh. over the knockup. Cream and the connection. That's what you like to see. It's a revenge on his old mid laner for TN. Spotted out. Yeah, draw an error as well. He has a decent amount of CC to add into it. TN. Oh, TN. He get out of this. Misses the Q. <laughs> no spider senses tingling whatsoever there. TN just gets completely out of it. And Aki will claim that kill. Yeah, I think they're tickling now after he's gone right right the way into the graveyard. Great recognition midway through the trade there from Jackal of realizing, look, I'm not going to get a kill if I just hit the one target. He's going to switch over to the other target to make sure I get extra souls. He's now alone in a 1v3. Ooh, ooh, 369 tries to get the flash Q play, but Cream has made his way here. Malignance is ticking as well. And uh, the bot side. attack is what kills him. Jackie Love gets taken down in bot side, though. Stayed as well as a double kill. Okay, so 1v3 in the top side takes down so much as a player, even in just this short split as well. I say short split, it's a long split. In the LPL <laughs> it's a long split. Just, it's just the one split. 369, we can 2v1 in the top side. Gonna try to dubstep Q his way out of this one. He does get the dotting yes, shadow Mako. across. He's got the Q3 there as well. Mako's here. He gets the depth charge there, and another Q sweet spot will do it. They're gonna find some nice engage on the shot, And there's a reset for 369. Look at all that healing from the Sundered Sky. And Jackie loves even here to pick a couple souls three six nine don't stand up to this man on oh, rookie it becomes a lot more difficult for nip to even find safety in a lot of these fights and we're already on the second ult. item for cream 
Here comes the TP play and IP trying to catch out 369. They do end up taking down the beast, but what has it wrought and what will it cost? Jackie Love is there, but he gets the concussive blows used onto him. Here comes Mako over the wall. Tian going for a kick, potentially gets stopped by the Glacial Fisher. Nice CC chain. And here comes Mummy has now made IP move it into top esports. Shaji getting taken down by Cream, but it doesn't matter because the carries for NIP are still alive. Nice flash out there. Mako will save his life with that one. Both to get shot in the back by the Dawning Shadow. Here comes the end game for Mako. Go, and we ain't stopping just yet. Aki's going in now too, but the calming of the storm. Aaron and IP forced yeah. off of the dragon. This will be third dragon in a row for top esports. So if this was a situation where NIP had given up the first dragon of the game, they would have to fight for survival right here. Cloud Dragon is really important for someone like the Aatrox to make sure you can get those flanks. The extra move speed, and then once you pop your ultimate, the extra move speed on top of that, very, very powerful. Shanji just uses E. He's probably oh. gonna have to flash, and he does so. <laughs> Oh, he might still die here, though. His cream is doing so much work. It's going to be 369 that claims the first one. He's dodging out Seismic Shove as well. Trying to go for some Q sweet spots on a rookie. Mako's here as well in a minion wave. Perfectly timed. Top Esports crash. Mother is going to clear that one. And a nice Seismic Shove on a Mako. As an anchor goes a little bit wide there. Fota getting flashed on. Does end up burning his flash out of there. Glacial thumbs up, but that one's... Uh... Not a happy one, I don't think. Blowing that flash means it's much harder to get onto the targets than you really want to. Or engage and then flash back into your team. Now, oh, Rookie's caught. Cream. I love that, man. He sees Rookie, he flashes, and he sets up the kill for his team. Folks, Cream has been the better mid laner in game one here today against Top Esports' old mid laner of Rookie, the old god of the mid lane for the LPL. With so many mistakes back to back, Top Esports open up towards the Baron. Item completed by Shanji, who's teleported in, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to get themselves a fight. You gotta watch how much poke can come out top esports. They're getting a little bit chunked by the bear, and it's about half health now. Cream's going to start throwing his Qs into the pit here, as Fotix still has an angle, has Mom available too. Mako's going to go over the cre uh, Crescent at least. Trey can't find the engage either there. Mom's already utilized, and now they're just going to catch out Zuo, who's going to have to burn the flash. Shanji is on the other side. He wants to go in for the fight. He got the W. He's got the CC. Dotting Shadow coming across. Mako's on the other side of the wall. And now everything's it comes starting to fall apart. NIP can fight. Rookie is here. He's got a big combo. And NIP, they actually chunk and utilize Botix so well that they take out three members of NIP. Top Esports don't commit to the flip. They want the fight and they lose. It's a Baron flip for them all the same. It's going to go to the side of NIP. What a blunder in the late game from Top Esports. This will allow a lot more gold to go into the pockets of the Talir, and particularly that smolder. as Top Esports from getting themselves an easy song. And NIP, they are cutting this lead down. They are almost even now. And with this crash in the in-hip turret and bot side, it actually will just even that one up here. About 500 gold separates them now. Tien on vision, but behind the oh. enemy team. Matra Q, they're going for the fight. Tien's not that here. Matra Q is so big. Oh my god. Oh my god. NIP, what are you going to do when Top Esports comes for you? Tien has a flick. Cream is cutting up one by one. And Top Esports, they kill everybody. There's not going to be a single soul left. And that little dragon will flap, flap, flap his way to a death. NIP overstay on their push, and they are not content with a Dragon Soul. They want the Nexus. Top Esports, they slip up around the Baron. They've been known to do that in their history once or twice, but they will march down the mid lane after a cataclysmic teamfight mistake from NIP. Hero plays from Cream and Jackie Love. An incredible series of decisions from Top Esports, even though they had lost that last fight, taking a fight into a smolder. They turn around that decision making they immediately triple dp to mid lane and they will holistically control this game number one nip thought they had a chance but they'll have to come back for that chance at game number two as the nexus falls top esports go up one zero Top Esports put a couple of questions. Uh... But Top Esports, they are looking mighty with a very similar composition as well. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Top Esports have backline access. They have the center and the ornals, so, like these orbital railguns flying through the team. <laughs> Jack's dragon share of work, Nightmare. We'll see, see. <laughs> we could definitely work with that one.
Aki, start around in this bot side. One more hook and a flash from Aki could lead to an early play. Jackie Love and Mako, they have pushed the wave a little too far. Ooh, they actually don't get the EG, but it ends up working out in their favor anyways. Jackie Love burns his flash. Ah, oh, but so does Aki. Aki doesn't manage to get himself a clean play, but Ooh, he walks back into Jackie the hook. Love him. What are you doing? The, what, the hook hits the wall. If Nautilus hook hits the wall as well. Grub spawning in a minute. Use uh, that and hope you would like to get one of them. Stop that might buff being activated by Top Esports. Chandu contesting for now, and he's uh, set up his own um, public transport system of the um, Rek'Sai subway, and we're going to flash Ooh, in towards mid lane. Big flash on the Jackie Love here as well. They don't end up... Oh, oh! <laughs> that's a lot of early game damage from the Spiraling Despair. And now Sanji with the Void Rush goes on to 369. He's healing a lot, though, and now Tien comes in. He's going to have the three-talent strike going, but he doesn't want to push forward because the rest of NIP are collapsing, but so is Cream. He has the first angle, but he didn't realize that he's just getting pounced on here and gets taken out by Aki. Shanji's gonna survive as well, and top esports are left wanting. The top 2v2 doesn't go that cleanly for NIP, but the rest of the. Uh, That's like an Omega D proxy. <laughs> I mean, he's got the public transport he's system. He's going to have to use that no. to get out there. I think he's gone too far. It's Shanji. Shanji. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that public transport's not working today. Although he might find an alternate route, he does end up getting the Queen's Wrath knock up there as well, but it's not going to matter. Cream's going to lock him down here. One more Q, and Cream gets his kill. You have to wait for me. Down 369, though. TP coming in from Shanji. Deep teleport. So this is the bonus which they had from playing on top of uh, Fog of War. They don't see Shanji just yet, and he can get into the back Ooh, lane. He does end up getting the triple knock up there. That's really big. Here comes Mob across, too, to get some decent damage. Jackie Love is already gone by Rookie. 369 getting locked down by the Spiraling Despair. But it's up. Beast Force who want the fight in a quick twirl of the wrist, and it's a double for the Niner Man as they move into NIP Rookie. You have no hope. Donic Shadow coming across, get the assist for Jackie Love, and that's a snipe from Cream. It's all in the flick of the wrist, so the crocodile swings around and takes down the enemies around. Top spawns just the first one of that. And then we have NIP walking through vision to get towards that Harold spawns. So they're not really gonna stick around. The big bonus of that last plate for NIP, despite losing the fight, is that they did get the dragon. It's not gonna be an early salt, it's a hextech salt, it's gonna be capital up, and they're fighting again anyway. Oh though. yeah, we are. Mother isn't gonna make the difference. TN is going into his death. Now 369 with the spiraling despair on top of him will just burst down. And a kill goes back over to NIP. They pick up a couple, and that is big. They're coming down in force. 369 ready to teleport on a moment's notice. He's on the top tier two up there as well. We'll end up getting Shanji's focus here. But the dragon already started up by NIP. Tien in position to try to get the steal here. It would be a sole point, like we said, for top esports. Wind does become lightning, but does it actually strike twice? It's going to be taken by NIP. Long distance engage goes on to multiple members. The spiraling despair actually hits. Nice backline Pencils access it. from Aki, but Jackie Love goes down anyways. Big turnaround now as Fotik is looking to bring the heat. And you hear the flap of those wings. You start getting scared as the dragon comes alive. Shanji is a god amongst men in the top plate. He marks 369 for the front line. Will have been outscaled at that point. Yeah. See, the Baron has now been started through that scuttle vision. These teleports need to come through at least to just face check this Baron and make sure it doesn't go down. Oh man, we're seeing top esports pull the trigger here with the TP, double TP from NIP actually, and they will try to get the engage off the back of it. 369 is leading the charge. He There's does get hook. locked down. Look at the backline access. Shanji, he finds Jackie Love again. He finds Aki a kill here too. 369 going to be brought down with a spiraling despair. All he can do is put his head in his hands and NIP, all five members, they step up to the pit. So, Tien, no ultimate now. He doesn't have himself a flash to get over to the pit safely that way, or flash back out of the pit, but he can use the Wind Becomes Lightning and charge in audaciously. Shanji wants to stop him from doing that. He's playing pretty aggressively, but the rest of it IP actually moving in over onto Mako. He's gonna have to flash, he's getting burned. Here comes the Void Rush, and here comes the kill. Fota gets one, Shanji's out of there like swimwear. Okay, so top esports, they get themselves uh, at, at least harder. Shanji marks out 369 again. He's trying to flank. He needs to. He's just being shut down on the angles. Consistently shut down by the Shanji Rek'Sai. Again, the first time we've seen this pick in the LPL in top lane. 
Now the Dragon getting low, and IP in position. Tian trying to get an angle here. He does go in. He doesn't get it, though. Aki is the better of the Smiters. Now the re-engage coming in. Mako's going to try to pull it back. Here comes 369. He finds that angle, and Cream gets some damage down. Look at that shielding from the Sterics. Cream is doing some work. He's going to flash. He forces the hand of NIP, and Shanji goes to his death. Oh! Here comes Tian. He's going to burn. He's going to burn, and Fotik gets it. The last kill that gives an NIP a single kill in that team. Uh, it's got a lot of swings and misses right now. Flank angles and hooks, oh my. That's the stress oh, though, that's lands. the pressure. Uh, one Gosh, of these goes in. Tian forced to blow that ultimate, so dangerous now. He won't have that up for potentially a Baron start from NIP. I think it will be up for potentially, oh, he Shanji might just be wants dead. It. Shanji wants it, they get him. As Aki gets that kill here too, they actually ping over to the Baron. Dragon, delay that a little more against the Baron buff. That might be their best macro option remaining outside of a Miracle Steal from Cream getting a Mantra Q over the wall. They're teleporting. They might even look for the fight. They actually do. 369, again, he's huge. He's four items. He's going to pop Dominus. Spiraling rookie. despair on Mako. Look at him. He found Rookie. He found him. That's a big tonic shadow from Jackie Love. They've already taken the king of the middle as now they actually get Aki on the back line here. But 369 is handling business. He gets him. He's rolling nines like it's nobody's business. This. Get this guy's dice checked because Top Esports, calm, cool, and collected will dominate in IP. He does it again. How does he always? But it is not enough. The wings of the dragon were soaring oh so high, but Top Esports clipped them at their roots. They will smash in IP in 2-0 fashion. They will leapfrog JDG, and they will be our second place team in the spring split of LPL 2024. Elation for Top Esports, heartbreak for ninjas in pajamas. They'll be uh, not skipping through. These were some of the best highlights from all of the LPL spring matchups of the day. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.